The Galapagos Islands are so unique because it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and also because it's so protected and so pristine. This perm starts off in Quito, the capital of Ecuador, and then after that you get transferred here to the Galapagos Islands. These islands are very isolated and we have a special species that you'll find here and nowhere else in the whole world. I think what surprised me the most is just how close to the animals you can go because they have no fear of humans, which is so unusual. I think seeing the animals is the best part of the whole program. The wildlife makes this a very unique experience that you wouldn't see anywhere else. We have seen a lot of birds like the blue-footed boobies. I heard about the blue-footed booby, but seeing them with their blue feet and the bright blue color was fabulous. You see pictures of it and you go, well, maybe it's a little enhanced, maybe there's being a little photoshopping going on, but those birds truly do look that incredible. Every animal, every bird, every tree, every plant is part of an integrated ecosystem and it's so important I think that people understand that because then they can understand why it's so important to preserve every aspect of it. There are many islands that we visit where Darwin was, and we will also get to see many species that Darwin spotted. And it's such a beautiful way to be able to understand better by looking at things how he used to see it. It's so impressive how much effort they're making to protect the wildlife that are indigenous to these islands and have them preserved for future generations. Here in the Galapagos Islands, we are surrounded by a national park. 97% of it is all national park, but also we have the marine reserve, which is also protected. And I think that would be one of the highlights during the program, to be able to snorkel and to have a nice close-up to many species like sea lions, sea turtles. Yesterday we snorkeled with the sea turtles and that was a high point of the day. I really enjoy the snorkeling and looking underwater at the beautiful different varieties of fish. I am not a huge fan of water, so the idea of snorkeling in multiple feet of water was a little daunting, but Joelle, our leader, and the team on the boat made us all feel very safe with what for a lot of us were very new experiences. Prior to this program, I experienced two road Scholar programs with my wife, which was great. It's great to be traveling with uh, your companion, but it's also a great experience traveling solo. I didn't feel by myself. All the passengers are like people I've known for a long time. I think it's because of the intimate setting. Being on a small ship is a real treat. The crew has been absolutely terrific. They've waited on us hand and foot and there's a limited number of people. We really like the idea of traveling with a very small group of people and doing all of our activities together with them. This program is intense. You definitely need to be an active person. You need to be physically fit. The thing I liked about the activity mix was that there were multiple activities in a day and there was always the option to say, I'm going to sit this one out, I'm going to spend some time on the boat, just looking at the amazing scenery. The small ship was definitely something I was excited about. I'm not a fan of crowds, and uh, it was certainly one of the reasons I chose this program. To me, the real value of coming here with Road Scholar is you get a really educational experience and not just a straight tourist program. Our group leader was such a wonderful part of our experience. He obviously has a huge passion for the islands where he grew up, and there wasn't a question that anyone has asked him that he wasn't able to answer. Even though I was definitely going outside of my comfort zone, I think they made it as easy as possible to learn in a way that feels right for you. And that's really what Rose Scholar for me is all about. It's not just learning about the country you're going to and learning about the birds and the animals, it's learning about yourself 
and really thinking about what is it that I can do to continue to grow as an individual. This program helped me get out of my comfort zone. You know, on a typical week uh, at home, I wouldn't be jumping in the ocean snorkeling or looking at sea lions and native birds. It's been something we've wanted to do for a long time and I'm very happy that we're here.